The new story actually reveals to us the fundamental significance of our moment, and that is that the, an era, an entire geological era is coming to a close in our time. The you know, scientists divide up life into these major eras, and the one we're living in is called the Cenozoic. It's the 65 million years since the demise of the dinosaurs. And so in terms of life at that level, we're at the end of that. In particular, we are actually eliminating um, the species of our time at a rate of 20,000 a year. Now, now species always go extinct, but they, if there were no humans around today, there, there'd be maybe one species going extinct a year. So we've pushed it up thousand times. So our impact is changing the function of the planet. And that, this, here's the amazing thing. This will be news a million years from now because these mass extinctions only take place once every hundred million years. So we're living in an event that comes along once every hundred million years. Now, the, the new story then says that's the real action on the planet. And so our, already we can see how this relates to this question of who am I and what am I about. Are we part of that destruction? Are we ignorant of it? Or are we actually addressing it? That, that is the, um, the, the benefit of having a cosmic story. Now, it, the, the notion of extinction is an extremely uh, deep one. We, it took humans forever to arrive at this. I mean, Buddha, Jesus, Confucius, no one in history talked about extinction of species because it was beyond the reach of the human imagination until the 19th century. So it is, it's a massively important event that we can just barely understand the, the, the true significance of this. And I think in a sense, uh, this destruction, even though it is taking place largely outside of our consciousness, it's also affecting us at a very deep level. So the, the struggle of embracing our moment is the struggle of embracing the fact that we live in the most destructive moment in 65 million years. Right in the middle of the destruction is the creativity. They, they go along at the same time. It's, um, again, so bizarre. This, we, when the dinosaurs were living their last days here, they were all, as they died out, they were enabling the mammals to take off so that mammalian creativity exploded with the um, death of the dinosaurs. So that is our moment too. We're, we're in the midst of the an end time, things are coming to a, a close, but it's opening up new possibilities. So our, our fundamental challenge is to give birth to a new society, a new way of being a human, and a new planet. See, that's the, the challenge, is to think at the level of creativity that's required. It's not just a new civilization we need to give birth to. We're actually giving birth to a new geological era. And it's never been done in human history. It's a, it's a level of creativity that um, it's, the, the earth has manifested for sure. But humans have never been called upon to produce ideas at the level of uh, planetary creativity. That's our moment. Now the actual name of this era it hasn't been named yet. Some people call it the era of, of information. Some people call it the integral era. Um, it's also called the ecozoic era. The idea is the, it's the age of integral ecology. We don't have the language yet because we're right in the middle of the creativity itself. The critical first step to be involved with this transformation is to understand that uh, our primary community is something beyond the nation state. It's even beyond any culture, it's beyond any corporation. Our fundamental community is actually the earth community as a whole, so that we can begin to think and feel and assess things 
at that level. Now we, we work in individual lives. There's an intimate relationship we have with our local surroundings. But at the same time, there's, we can have an awareness of the relationship of this, this local community we're in with this larger planetary moment. So simply identifying ourselves at that larger level is the first step. The transformation that we're involved in operates both at the level of the personal and at the level of the social. Our, our, the fundamental establishments of our society all are undergoing a change. You know, up until uh, recently, our educational process has been designed to produce uh, workers for factories or, or, or workers inside of a corporation. All this has been very um, appropriate. But at the present time, we're realizing that the, what's the form of education that will enhance the life of the planet? That's the question. So that it's, the, it's a larger context. And it's, it's easy to state what that, the orientation will be. We need to develop educational processes that will assist people to enter into their roles within the Earth community. So see, it's the, it's the level of meaning that we're talking about. It doesn't stop at the level of industrial society. It's larger. It's ultimately, what is the, the deep role within the entire planet? What, what, what are we serving in terms of the planet? And likewise with the um, economic systems. Our economies were designed with a total focus on humans, naturally. But we, we failed to appreciate that we are one economy amidst many. The birds have an economy, the whales have an economy. There are all these different ways of, of making a living. And so we have to invent economic activity that is an enhancement of the other economies, not simply the human. And, um, and so forth through the different institutions in our society. It's to rethink things through from the point of view of the larger planet. We, we proceed with an awareness that the system is far too complex for us to actually manage or control. It's, it's way beyond our capacities. It is, remember, it's a system that gave birth to us. So how then are we to interact in a way that is fruitful? And the, the beginning point is to align ourselves in terms of the fundamental dynamics of the system itself. Every, every component of the system has a fundamental mode of presence. It is a movement of authenticity. There is a way in which each component is involved with the inclusion of the entire system. And there's a way in which each component has a fundamental responsibility. This is true of any system on the planet. And so our way forward is to move into these modes or these qualities of the system as a whole and to make it personal.